Hello, welcome to episode 248. Uh, we're going to be stopping the players from dropping items. Now, I was making a map with a friend, and I had the problem that players drop their items, they would softlock themselves. So I thought, well, when they get back to their home, we can check if they've got all the different items, and if they have, we give them back to them. And I thought it would be easier if we just stop them from dropping them in the first place, which we can do. Well, this is this is what I came up with. It's the best I could think of. Uh, and it works okay. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to tag any item that is on the floor and give it a, a, or not even on the floor, as soon as it's in the air, and give it a no pickup delay. So we will execute as any entity type equals item run data modify that entity add itself pick up delay set the value of that to zero okay now just that command by itself should work there we go so as soon as the item is appearing in the air it's been giving a pickup delay of zero and because I'm close to it, I'm picking it up. Now, it does mean if it's in the end of your inventory, it won't go back into the same slot. It'll go back into the first free slot, but still better. Now, we do have the problem, though. If an item was summoned on the floor, this command would be running at it continuously. I don't know if that's bad. I also got the problem that if we're in multiplayer and someone was standing right next to me or in the same square... It's pretty unknown who's going to pick that up. So we're going to have to do a couple of changes. Uh, let's take away that. We're going to put a block on the front. You're going to be always active a chain. And you will be the repeating one. Right, I think what we're going to do first is any item we find we're going to tell it who its owner is. And its owner should be the person who threw it. Okay, if it doesn't have an owner, we don't care who picks it up. That's fair. So, let's just type it from scratch. We will execute as any entity whose type equals item run Data modify <laughs> modify modify entity yourself and we want to say your owner capital O your owner is the same as your thrower. So the person who threw you is your owner. Uh, yep, yeah, that seems good. So only I should be able to pick that up now. It should still work if we uh, test it. Yeah, okay. And now, well, again, you could just keep that. If you're just doing single player, you only need this one command. This will help it for multiplayer. And I think if we tag the items, we could stop processing them as well. So let's do something in here. Type item, tag equals not done. Yeah, we'll do that. Tag equals not done. And then in here, same again. XUS type item, tag equals not done. And then at the end, what we'll do is tag any item add done tag equals not done add done that might help with um, optimization maybe performance that way we're only checking for the tag do you have the tag no you don't now you do in which case these two command blocks won't affect you okay there we go I can't drop anything now 
you could, I suppose, um, have custom items that you summon that have custom tags on them, which allow you to drop them and override this rule. But I won't put this in that in this video. If you're interested in that, so you use this system and a custom tag will let you throw an item on the floor. Yep, just put a comment in the description saying I'm interested. Anyway, nice quick one. I will see you later. Bye bye.